and there's something right next to us. Oh no. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's Morses. Okay, we're good. <laughs> no, we're fine. These, however. Ouch. Uh, we just bomb that immediately. There is a lot of stuff on the left side. Hello guys, and welcome to a new Regiments video today by me, Vulcan. In this one, I'm going to be continuing with Phase 3 of Task Force McMains. This operation has actually been really fun so far. We've been on the defensive against a Soviet onslaught, which has been absolutely crazy. And we're going to be doing that again today at Phase Line Denver. And then we'll be moving on to Objective Omaha. So let's just see what we want to do with our operational authority. We have 139. I've wanted to upgrade Task Force Havoc, so I think that's something I'm going to do. That will unlock the Artillery Strike and the M1A1 HQ section, so we'll do that. And then, where else do we put our Operational Authority? I'm thinking increasing deployment points just so we can deploy more stuff all at once. And finally, let's get some M1A1 HAs and the M2A2 infantry. Perfect, that uses all of it. Let's have a look at the operation log. So phase three, sit rep. 57th Guards has penetrated Task Force Anderson, forward line of defense. The most likely enemy course of action is to exploit this development and roll up our position from the flank. Great. Thanks, Task Force Anderson. Uh, so that means we're going to deal with even more forces. That's going to be rough. And if that opens up a new axis of attack that I have to deal with, oof, big oof. All right, well, let's go to events. We will select on event four because we're saving J-Stars for the counterattack. And in we go for Task Force McBain's phase three, phase line Denver at 2 p.m. Here we are, let's have a look. Okay, so we're not defending this way anymore. Not defending this way. We are defending Jul from Juliet and we are defending on the right side there. Huh. Okay. And nothing's happening due to the uneventful. Maybe that's not so bad. There's only like two axes of attack. We have to defend. I can defend from like this tree line towards Juliet. And we can defend probably from here. Well, that might be a good idea to maybe have like a unit over here and then a unit over here. So we get like nice flanking shots on whatever's going in. Uh, but we do have a bunch of troops down already. So let's just uh, move them. Uh, my M1A ones. Oh, actually they were in a terrible position previously, weren't they? And I guess the enemy units are still going to be there. So let's not be there. <laughs> I might. Just try and get my M2A2 infantry over here to just go and cap India. But might be easier said than done. Let's bring in a, another unit there, maybe. That can go and push into India. Okay. Then we got these ones. We can put one here. We got the M1A ones. We'll sort these out in a minute. Uh, the M3A2s can stay here as well. I'm going to need some over here. So we'll do that. And where's my tank? So I've got another tank there. We have our M1A1s. Okay. I don't really want to split my M1A1s away from the other M1A1 HAs though. But maybe they need to start over here. Yeah, actually, maybe we just do it like that. Where we have. Those M1A ones go to the tree line here with the Bradleys. Maybe bring the Vulcans in there as well. Anything else we can use? Any others that I've missed? I don't think so. Might move these back slightly. That's fine. And we'll bring in the Apaches over here as well. OK. 
cool. Do I want to bring in supply? Maybe mortars? Mortars might be a good shout. Yeah, that'll do. Actually, maybe I could have brought in man pads on the other side, but no, I'm not going to do that. I think I'm okay. And uh, since we, I want to see what's here because I don't know what's left over. So we're just going to pop that over there and we will confirm. And then we need to make sure that these move into position. So we'll just go ahead and sort of move over here. Got my infantry over there. These can stay in cover. These can stay in cover. These can move like this and then we can shoot them from two directions. And we're already engaging stuff here and there's something right next to us. Oh no. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's mortars. Okay, we're good. <laughs> then we're fine. These, however. Ouch. Uh, we just bomb that immediately. There is a lot of stuff on the left side. Okay. Uh, oh no, the bomb's going to miss. Uh, I might be forced to move forwards here. Because I need to hold them in position. Really? You're gonna do me like that? Okay, well at least the Bradleys kind of held the line, but the Abrams definitely had to retreat there. Crikey. Alright, let's go ahead and push into India. Oh, there's another unit to our left. We need to get the Abrams back over here ASAP. Uh, these guys... Maybe I can use these actually to... Kill any units left over here. Let me just area recon this again. It's really difficult to see what's here. Because, see, there's another unit right there. It's because of the orchards make it very difficult. Can I, like, just move into the edge here and cap that? We are capping it, which is good. These are in a terrible position. I don't know why they're that far up. That's really bad. Uh, let's pull back. Uh, that's really bad. Let's pull back. Did I lose one? No. Okay, good. Uh, these can leave. They're being artied. I might even have to just leave with these as well. Hmm. Well, left flank's gone already. Nice. Uh, my M1A1HAs are being flanked by T64 BBs. You hate to see it. We are doing a lot of damage on this right hand side, but my troops are slowly but surely getting whittled down by enemy artillery. Enemy identified. What's next? I might want to just like go fix them up and bring them back in. How are we doing here? Oh wow, that's a lot of stuff. Let's 
crazy how there is so much stuff here. I think my M1A ones can really do much on their own. Zone lost. I thought there was low S air threat. Well, at least this one managed to get its bombs off. Mm, looks like it hit something. Did my M1A ones just get deleted? I think they did. Yep, all of my units are just getting deleted here. Time to go. Uh, yeah, that uh, leader unit just evaporated on the right hand side. Um, hmm. That is rough. Time to bring in the OH. 58s. We don't want to let them capture India, if I can help it. The Hellfires can hit the mark. Zone lost. I can't stay here. This artillery is just ridiculously relentless. Let's not lose those. We are losing Lima. I don't know what to do about India because I want to kind of take that back for the 50 points there. The operational authority. Accurately hitting my M2A2s constantly. <laughs> I look away for one second. That unit just evaporated. At least we can kill the T80BVs here. Got a good ambush. My poor, poor M3 ones just dying every time. And the M2A2s in this case getting wrecked. Well, at least we got a good flank there. Close range.
And we just got to try and hold on to the objectives, which is Charlie and Kilo. Kilo is looking spicy right now, though. We'll try and take back Lima. Maybe I can defend from there. Zone lost. So we lost Foxtrot. I don't know if there's going to be a way I can maybe take Foxtrot and India back. Okay, it looks like we can take Lima back, which is good, because that will... I was going to say it stopped the Cabal Charlie, but it won't. Uh, that's kind of awkward. Let's just uh, leave one here to dig in. Good. Zone captured. Seems like we're making a bit of a comeback. Am I really gonna have to go all the way to golf to cap that back? Let's have these fall back while they're out of ammunition. Why are there so many tanks there? That is not fair. And they have a... These guys are going to die any second. Running out of ammo, huh? It's not good. I don't really know how we cap this back in time. We're going to take golf. Uh, we're obviously destroying these other units here. Zone lost. I'm going to have to like hearty that. How? I can't take it because Fox Shot's locked. All right, it's just coming from the flank there. We are capturing Hotel back. That's something. <laughs> We've five minutes left, and this is not looking good. 
There are so many troops on the enemy side, it is unbelievable. Minutes remaining. If I kind of play it slow, maybe it will work because we kind of like slowly whittle down the forces that they have and then we push back afterwards, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. That's another two units of tanks. Bring down an artillery strike on those since they're going to be there for a little while. I'm really hoping that my Apaches can just clean these up. Zone lost. Capture back Kilo, please. What's next? Actually, I might as well just send them over to Fox Truck because we're not going to have time otherwise. Those can leave for the time being. Two minutes thirty left. In a bloody battle. But we might just about hold on to the objectives at least. Let me just area recon this. Oh these guys are having a bad time. Zone captured. And not having India and not having golf is pretty egregious. But as long as we hold on to Charlie for the last couple of minutes, it's not too bad. I'm trying to rush these over to Foxtrot. I don't think they're going to get there in time though. I don't mind losing hotel. Ready. We have the Apaches that can help defend Charlie. Zone capture. One minute remaining. Enemy identified. What's next? Welcome. This is a HQ unit, so it might cap that quicker. Just in a bit of a last minute land grab here. I don't think we take India. I'm gonna artillery strike this, I'm pretty sure there's still a unit here.
Zone captured. Yep, there's still definitely a unit here somewhere. Alright, well there it is. We managed to hold all of the, the main objectives that we needed for the victory points, so that's important. Uh, operational authority would have been nice as a cherry on top, but considering how ridiculous that was, well, I think that went pretty well. I mean, we lost the M1A1. We lost one of my M3A2s, but I think more or less it. I mean, we, we did lose like a few units here and there. It was only three times, four times that units got annihilated. Eh, not ideal, but yeah, I'll take it if I have to. 204 operational authority is still quite a lot. Uh, moving forwards, we definitely want to get these back online. Having recon is very important, and I was struggling that last time around because of it. So there's 135 we can get from that. We need at least 100 to get a total victory. Let's get the supplies back up. I don't think I need more deployment points. On the attack, it's less important because you're going to be more concentrated. Restoring two M1A1 HQ units is 30 points. What? <laughs> All right, we'll go and pop these back in. I think that's more important. <laughs> 30 points. Incredible. All right, that'll do. <laughs> Any other operational logs? No. Okay, let's move on to Objective Omaha. We'll get J stars in the sky. And we will go and get our revenge. Task Force McMain's Phase 4 Objective Omaha at 7 p.m. Here goes our counter attack. All right, so the objective is to take Box truck, golf, and hotel. We've got to hold Delta, Charlie, and Bravo. Ooh, interesting. Are they going to be attacking me as well then? Ooh. How am I going to want to do this? The reinforcements can come in from over here and over here. I'm thinking. We go Echo November. Cut them off on the right hand side, push to the mid. That's cool. We go Cathedral. Uh, we are coming in all the way from the back. Uh, unless we do do ta two task forces. I kind of want to make sure I have some stuff on the right here. But no, I think I'm going to focus mostly on the right hand side maybe try and sort of go all the way around but so we'll see what happens let's uh, make it concentrated and if we have to we can just tell these to leave and come back on the other side maybe just put like some m2a2 infantry over here that can go and set up defensively Otherwise, we want the Apaches with us. Uh, I might send back one of my M3A2s, actually. No, I don't need those. And that way we can bring in DPICM, which I'm going to bring in pretty much immediately. And we can just start peppering these defenses.
Yeah, I'm going to try and get into there with that unit and then we'll set it up defensively. Uh, these are actually moving around a little bit. Try and soften up the ones behind then. Probably have the normal M1A1HAs be forward first rather than the HQ ones because they're so expensive to reinforce. comes the DPS, yeah. Let's get the Apaches in as well. Okay, there are units attacking us at the same time. What do we have on defense? M1 IP, M3A2s. Okay. We're going to want to get a bit more aggressive here. The nice thing about swinging around the back here is like we can hit these defenses in the back and get them like right up in the flank. Uh, let's use this one to cap because it's damaged. These ones can push forwards more aggressively. Zone captured. That is a lot of damage, very quickly. Interestingly, on this side we have to get to Kilo before we can actually hit these guys at the front. But we can always go straight into the back of Oxtra, like that doesn't really matter. Ready. 
zone captured. All right. Uh, let's use like a uh, artillery strike. Yeah. That's the counter attack. Let's have these leave. I'm gonna have those M3 A2s fall back. We are shooting all of these in the in the rear. Or in this case in the side. Actually pretty sketchy for us as well though. do an artillery strike on that unit but I, I mean I probably can just like push up in this direction I think Fire superiority there, so that's fine. Uh, this, like these, all these guys coming in behind us, though, we're gonna turn and face. It's just a lot of BMPs, isn't it? We've kind of broken down the defense a bit here, which is good. We just need to kind of continue this trend. As soon as these are all ready to come in, we bring them back in. Now though, these guys can retreat, and hopefully we didn't lose any. We start pushing back in again. This time I'm just going to go straight up into Foxtrot, we're going to make sure that we take the objectives. We can always go back and take November Echo afterwards. I don't know what that unit is, but we can kill it and then we can kill these. Clean out the middle. Completely.
backwards. I don't know if I want these to be like sat here and just like draining my supply now. Because we are getting low on supply again. But I mean it has been kind of worth it. It has been doing a lot of damage and using the J-Stars we're able to kind of hit stuff preemptively like at Kilo here would be a great shot. And if I can take Echo November Kilo by the end of this phase we're going to have an extra 350 operational authority to work with which is huge. I think since they're not pushing in too hard here I'm going to bring this unit across for the attack onto Foxtrot as well. Still a scary tank. No longer a scary tank. So we can just have an infantry move straight into Gulf and cap that for us. We'll let this one unload and cap Foxtrot. This one can push up with the Bradley. Get the M1A ones in there. Shouldn't be too much to stop us now. Got six minutes to basically clean this up. That's going to be the last unit on Hotel, and it's just the unit at Kilo. I might bring in the DPICM again. I just feel like they're so useful. Soften up defenses. Especially when we're going head on into them, I think it makes sense. Let me just put them on a control group. Zone captured. Mm, gotta be careful of that. I'm gonna have to. We'll have this one go capture November. Zone captured. God, they, they are taking a lot of damage. Wow. It's gonna be that this TATUD. It's because it's got a yeah. It's got a leader unit there, so the leader unit is a TATUD as well. Maybe they're getting hit in the flank. Listening. Killed them anyway, that's fine. Uh, let's hit this unit. That's sunny mortars, so we can go and just sit on this. 
And then maybe we can push into Oscar. Come up here. I haven't really been able to use my little oh, arty this. Zone captured. I mean, if we could get Oscar as well, it's like 400 points of operational authority. The DPACM has been huge. Welcome. Gotta be careful of the units coming in as reinforcements right now. The TATUD is gonna go. I don't think we even get close though, right? God, they're just pushing so aggressively. Hold the line. I'd like to push in Oscar, but doesn't look like that's happening. One minute remaining. I'm quite happy to just slaughter all of those units before the end. We'll have that unit leave. Okay, maybe we can get my infantry in there before the end. Mm, I guess it wouldn't really matter, there's only 30 seconds left. I think in general we've done a really good job of holding out here. And I think next phase we're just going to be doing like another a bit better on defense so using the high ground which is going to be kind of nice i'm a bit worried about them attacking from here next time around because that's going to be kind of difficult to defend but um yeah i think considering that was pretty good yeah and victory points 405 that means we are going to get a total victory is there still going to be another phase though we're already there Operation state saved. There is another phase. Yeah, we have 385 operational authority. Okay. Well, unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So we're going to, I guess, finish off the Task Force McMains next time around. And this should be good fun. We'll probably just try and demolish the rest. I don't know if there's going to be some sort of counter-attack. Situation report doesn't look like it. Hmm. Well, we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to have to definitely put some operational authority into supply after making a lot of use out of those DPI CM M109s. They have certainly paid for themselves in this one. Uh, so yeah, great fun. Enjoyed this for sure. That attack that we had to defend against was brutal though. Wow. Okay. Well, next time we'll complete Task Force McMains and then we can uh, move on to the next operation following that. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you much for watching. 
and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.